So in this video I'm going to demonstrate um, IP tables and how what you can do with it and how it works. Um, I've been reading online there's some uh, web forums and that there are kind of people are asking what's the difference between the ICMDB I see. Uh, sorry, the IP tables are reject with type differences. Because with reject with, you can uh, reject with ICMP net unreachable, ICMP host unreachable, ICMP port unreachable, ICMP proto unreachable, ICMP net prohibited, ICMP host prohibited, or ICMP admin prohibited. There's also the TCP reset there as well. Um, so there's been a few forums online that people have been asking about these kind of questions and that. So in this video here, which I'm going to upload to YouTube calling IP to fun with IP tables, um, I want to demonstrate exactly what all these do. So here I have two virtual machines. This one here, which I'm logging into right now, is what I, is my host, is the, I guess, the, the server in a sense. This one here is running an SSH client, uh, sorry, an SSH server, and this is the one I want to use the IP tables on. And this one here is the one we're going to actually connect with. This is the uh, client that has the SSH client, and we're also going to do pings to show examples of that. And then as a final example, I'm going to use one IP tables, what I want to do a few IP tables uh, and show it in a web browser to show what a web client would do. And, and with some of the with some of those uh, reject widths. So first we're going to go down the list here of, what, of the ones I stated. So we have the reject with uh, ICMP net unreachable. And for this demo, I've made it I made it for all for I have a hosts file, and that hosts file contains each server. So if I go ping IPT2, it's going to ping the 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 server on the right there. And if I ping I and if I go here and I go ping IPT1. Right now there's no IP tables, so it's gonna go directly in like that. Right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna keep this running while I actually do the IP tables here, just to show what happens. So to do an IP table, you go IP tables minus A. Normally you'd use a script to do all this stuff, but for this example I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna be going through each every each and every one. So we're gonna go IPT2 minus J reject. And we're going to do a simple reject for now without any reject with to see what happens. So press enter here, and you'll see on the right, it goes destination port unreachable. So the, so the default reject with is going to be the ICMP port unreachable. So now if we go to IP tables, and we do a flush, the computer now has access again. So, so we're going to do this one again. This time we're going to try an SSH connection. We can see what happens. So we're going to go SSH IPT1 connection refused. And to, and to prove that there is an SSH server running, we're going to flush the table, and we're going to do that and confirm that it's there. And we're in a, and now we're in IPT1. So that's an example of how that works, right? Okay, so now we're going to uh, run the ping again on here. And then we're going to uh, enable the, one of the reject widths. So we're going to go minus minus, reject width. It's very important that reject width is after is at the very end. If it's in the, if, if it's anywhere in the middle, if it's anywhere in the middle part, you're not gonna it's not gonna work. It's the IP table is gonna complain saying it's not valid. So you can't do that. So we're gonna go to the first one, which is net unreachable. This one's these are very interesting actually when we actually try these out. So we're gonna go ICMP net unreachable. Now watch what happens. Destination net unreachable. Now if we do a control C here, we go ping, sorry, SSH, network is unreachable. So as you can see, that is uh, how that net, how network works. Now we're gonna now we're gonna flush it and we're gonna try the other one, which is gonna be uh, host unreachable, which is which is the default. We don't want to do that one again. We're gonna go poor actually no host unreachable isn't actually host unreachable is different. So we're gonna go host unreachable. We're gonna try this one. We're gonna go ping. This is what a ping does. Destination host unreachable. And we're gonna SSH. No route to host. And then the next one here, for completeness, my, why not? I'll go port unreachable. This is the this is the default. This is the default uh, reject with is port unreachable. So we do that one. Then we do a ping. Destination port unreachable. SSH connection refused. This is examples like it depends. I guess it really depends what you want to display to the client end. And now this this one's more this one's more interesting. Proto unreachable. This is a proto. This is the protocol. Is the the protocol is unreachable, meaning meaning uh, that that we can't use TCP. <laughs> so we go ping destination protocol unreachable, <laughs> and then SSH protocol not available. It's, it's very interesting error messages you can see. Like this is very uh, 
you have full control on what the and what on what the uh, person on the other side will end up seeing. And then this one is net prohibited, net prohibited. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna do this. Ping it. SSH net prohibited. SSH network unreachable. SSH has the same one as the network one. It doesn't really uh, differentiate those as it seems. And now we're gonna go host prohibited. We're gonna flush it. We're gonna go host prohibited. Go back to here. We're gonna ping it. Decision host prohibited. And then SSH, no route to host. And then the final one here is gonna be admin prohibited. The TCP reset I'm not gonna worry about. Oh, actually I'll go with, I'll go with that one quickly just to kind of demonstrate what that does, how to use it properly. So we're gonna go ping, packet. This one's more this is interesting. Admin prohibited does a packet filtered, apparently, when you do a ping and it's still 100% packet lost regardless. And then if you do SSH, no route to host. That's what the admin does for those kind of clients. Then we filter and we flush that out. And then this is how we use a TCP reset. So we're gonna go TCP reset, but you have to add the protocol. So the protocol is TCP. And then now we can do the uh, ping. Or actually, we, ping wouldn't do anything because, well, it's gonna go through because we're only, because ping is a UDP protocol. So what we want to do is we want to do an SSH, which is going to go connection refused, which that's what uh, TCP reset would do. And now for uh, for more completeness here, I want to go open up a web browser, and we're going to and I'm going to because I installed a, an Apache server, so I want to kind of demonstrate how this works. So we're going to go here, and we're going to go to 192.168.56.102. This is the uh, what the server does now. Now watch what we watch what happens if we if we do a default filtering. So we're gonna go IP tables uh, minus a one second here minus a input minus s. I, I created a a thing for that already, and we're gonna do and we're gonna do a default reject just to see what happens. We're gonna press enter. Uh, hmm. Oh, there it goes. Now it works. Now, he's, now you see that able to connect standard Firefox message. Then we flush it just to confirm that it do, that it goes back to how it was, which it does. Okay. Now one of now everything else will everything I've tried everything else and all the other rejects will automatically just put cannot connect. But one of the more interesting ones that I found actually is if you do a reject with uh, re a reject a reject with. ICMP proto unreachable. This one does something very interesting in the browser. I'm not even sure. Like, it's very weird. Like, I, like if I press the refresh, I'll put it all here if you can see exactly. If you press the refresh button here. It literally it does nothing. It nothing happens. Like you can press refresh forever and it won't do anything. It's just such. A, it's so weird. I'll even will put this in a new tab to show you exactly what happens. This is with proto unreachable. It works there, but but yeah, it's um, really weird. It doesn't actually try to load the page at all. I'm actually gonna flush it again, and I'm gonna put a reject first just to get the cannot connect page. So now it can't connect. And then I'm gonna put it back to the proto one here. Now we're in it now. Since I'm the I cannot connect page, do a refresh here. It doesn't even try to load the page. You notice it doesn't even really even try. Or I guess it does a little bit for a few seconds, but then it doesn't bother afterwards. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, it doesn't really. It doesn't really try to load the page. As you can see, it doesn't even try. See, it still says it worked, but this one doesn't. <laughs> it's just <laughs> bizarre. It's just bizarre how the browser reacts to the proto. So you can have both open like that, and it's just really weird how the browser reacts to the proto pr protocol prohibited. It doesn't make any sense. It's really weird. I don't understand how that works. But anyways, that is uh, how all the ICMP filters work within um, are within the IP tables. So hopefully this video helps anybody uh, with their network administration and um, how to be able to set up their IP tables efficiently.